this statement necklace just says, look. It doesn't even need to say it loudly, just look. Hello everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. Today I am going to do a jewelry unboxing. This is a five pound box from Goodwill Blue Box. It's their repurposed box, which means they put a bunch of jewelry in here and it could be in any kind of condition, new, old, broken, wearable, fixable. I am hoping there'll be some sellable things in here because I am a full-time seller on eBay. So I am gonna tear this box open. I have my handy dandy diamond selector too to test for diamonds. I've got my magnet handy to see about testing for precious metals, gold and silver. And of course I have my jeweler's loop in case I need to magnify anything in the box. This is my good luck charm, I hope. This is Larry the Leprechaun. I found him in my last Goodwill Blue Box and I've got him sitting by the side here hoping that he'll bring me luck. Bring me some luck when I open this box, okay? You betcha. So here is the top view of the box as I open it. The next thing to do is Dump it all out right over there. This is the first piece we're gonna open. It's packaged up so it's brand new. This is a very long statement necklace. It's kind of cool. It's very ethnic. It's got turquoise colored beads, antique silver tone findings on here. It's quite long. This is the bottom layer and they've got two beads connecting this to the next layer and more two beads here. It's got an adjustable clasp. This is quite a statement necklace. I am going to be selling this for sure. Look at this, I've never come across anything quite like this before. This is one piece of fabric. This is a velvet fabric and has intricate seed beading sewn all around it. And at the end are these iridescent whitish silverish multi-strand seed beads connecting it. Isn't this cool? This looks very ethnic, maybe part of a costume. Let's see, there's a label on the other side, Himalayan gems handcrafted in Nepal. Hmm, I've never quite seen anything like this. I don't know if I'll be selling this or if I may put it in a craft lot or, or what, I have to think about it. I should explain what a craft lot is. A craft lot is a big box of jewelry, maybe 14 to 16 pounds of items like this that maybe I don't feel like I can list individually, it wouldn't be worth my time, or it might be broken pieces where crafters love going through it and harvesting beads and findings and such. So I'm working on different sizes of craft lots to sell in my eBay store. If you're interested in knowing when the craft lots get listed, Follow me on Instagram at picky.chick and then I will be giving a heads up there of just about when I'm ready to list my craft lots. This looks like a handmade necklace. This is made with shells and dyed coral and I think halite. I think this is halite. It's hard to see inside the drilled holes on these beads. Sometimes you can take a close look at the hole that's drilled and if you see white inside, that means it's a dyed stone. Halite is often used to make faux turquoise. It's a cute necklace. I won't be selling it though, so that is something I would put in the craft lot. Here's a heart-shaped enamel earring with the head of two birds. I think maybe they're cranes, I'm not really sure but this has the style of Laurel Birch. So let's take a look. And sure enough, it is Laurel Birch. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I'm hoping that I can find the mate to this one. Here are three stretch bracelets. These are sodalite beads. They're definitely real, they're cold to the touch. The stretch in it feels like it's about to break. So 
These are definitely going in a craft lot and I have a separate craft lot that I've started working on just with gemstones. So this will be going in my gemstone craft lot. This is a great looking pair of earrings. These are gold tone hoops. They have beaded dangles on there. They feel like real stones. They're cold to the touch. The detail is really pretty. There are these tiny little turquoise colored cabochons in there as well as the crystals and all the stones seem to be there. Really boho kind of feel to them. Definitely going to be selling those. Ooh, check this necklace out. This is a frontal necklace. It's definitely a statement necklace. These are also called bib necklaces. This is very colorful. You can see there are seed beads and a fuchsia and a purple color. And then there are these orange beads. They actually feel like resin, I think. And the purple beads over here. And then these faux turquoise beads. Then there's a purple diamond shape in the center there. Here's how this one is made. So there is a panel in the back. All the beads are either sewn or glued to this part. And then another panel is placed on top and glued. This is the part that broke on the other side. That's what I call a statement necklace. This statement this necklace makes is, look at me, look at me. It's actually very pretty, very bright and colorful. This is an awesome necklace. First of all, we have this pendant. Look at this cross pendant. It's a golden brownish color and it's got these clear crystals and golden crystals on each side and the bail even has crystals on it. But watch what happens when I turn it over. Wow, check it out. It's a purple enamel with all these different color crystals on it. This is just stunning. I have absolutely never seen anything like this before. It's on a gold tone chain with crystal links in between. The toggle is an enamel toggle with a crystal embedded. So yes, this one is definitely for sale. And by the way, if you do see anything in this video that you are interested in purchasing, drop me an email at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. I'll put the email address on the screen right here, kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. This is a stretch gold tone and textured bracelet, and it has clear crystals. All of the crystals seem to be there. Something like this will probably go in a mystery lot, which are lots that I put together of 10 to 12 pieces for $30 plus shipping. The shipping is going to be six to eight bucks. I will be offering those on Instagram or eBay. I haven't decided yet. It's a nice looking bracelet. I like it. Here's a pretty multi-strand purple necklace. The strands are a purple cat eye. They're shell beads. And this is a purple amethyst chips. Even though the pendant is chipped, it's not going to stop me from selling this necklace. I'm going to just take that off and sell it as a three strand, beautiful purple handmade necklace. Here are two beachy palm tree pendant necklaces. This one is seed bead lime green, mother of pearl or yeah, that's mother of pearl pendant. And then this one is an enameled round pendant. It's pretty. Both of these will end up in the craft lot though, because this is something I just won't be taking the time to sell individually. And this earring that matches the necklace was stuck to the necklace. I am such a sucker for owl jewelry. And this little guy is so cute. This is a necklace. And let me show you closer. This is an articulated owl. He's got black crystal eyes. I love the colors in his body. There are the three strands of chain on there. It's sort of an antique to goldy brass color, gold, and then again, antique gold brass. I might keep him at least for a while and wear him. I just think he's so cute. Gorgeous statement necklace. The statement this one makes, I'm sophisticated. I'm fashionable. A little bit ethnic, a little bit boho chic. There are three panels on this frontal necklace. Brass toned flower, looks like a turquoise chip and coral chips throughout. The close up view right here. And this is the chain on the necklace and has this hook closure in the back. 
guys see this earring right here I'm absolutely sure I have had this earring before and it must have been in one of these Goodwill blue boxes because I was disappointed I only had one exactly this earring this box must have come back to back with that box I had already opened that has this earring in it interesting and sure enough it was off park collection that's what it is so I'm hoping I can still find this mate to this guy. I'm absolutely in love with this earring. And I'm gonna dig through my stuff and see if I can find its mate. This is such a fun piece. This is a necklace. I believe that it's handmade or homemade, whichever you prefer. I believe that these components right here were hand painted. See where there's paint on the back of this one here? But look what a great job they did. I love the colors that are used, all these bright reds and greens and blues and yellows. And they've got them linked together with these little components in between. And then these turquoise colored beads that I believe are plastic. I think somebody would love this. I'm going to definitely sell this one. This is another fun piece. This is pretty playful black and white polka dot beads. This one, I'm not sure. It might need to be cleaned up if I do try to sell it because the beads look a little discolored. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell that one or put this one in the craft lot. It's awfully cute. This is a really unique piece. This has two layers of cowrie shells and some round shell beads. It's on a macrame base. Here's what it looks like on the back where everything is sewn on. If you like the necklace but don't like the ribbon, you could definitely cut the ribbon off and easily sew on some jump rings and attach a chain to it and be awfully cute. This is such a unique piece that I will be selling this. This is a multi-strand seed bead necklace. It's brand new. It still has a tag that says handcrafted in India. It's got a button and loop clasp. Look at the pretty colors of beads on this one teals, iridescent blues, yellows, greens, ivories. I like these colors together a lot. This here is a statement necklace. This statement necklace just says, look. That's all it says. Look. It doesn't even need to say it loudly. Just look. Where do I start? Let's start down here. At the very end, they have some turquoise colored beads, a brass tone bead, so pretty. The next part is this diamond shaped here with these wooden beads throughout, turquoise beads. The same matching bead as this brass tone bead. Look at the center on this thing. This has abalone chip inlays inside of a brass tone frame. This is something. And it goes up and here's where the collar part is some ivory colored beads, some more of those tribal beads, and it's picking up again on the turquoise beads. The part that goes around your neck are these wooden beads. And the end has an extender with brass tone hook and findings. I can't get over this necklace. This is fabulous. Oh yeah, I will definitely be selling this one. Now I have seen this guy before too. I have seen this owl earring, I think in the same Goodwill blue box as this guy. So I'm going to do some digging and find the mates to these. What are the odds that I would get two blue boxes with some of the mate matches? Larry, you really are my good luck charm. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Here's a great looking necklace. It's a brass tone with purple charms. In the center of the necklace right here is a piece of chain that has all sorts of charms hanging off of it purple faux charms, plastic faceted charms, a couple of different brass tone charms, and then up each side of the necklace, more of the same. This is really a fun piece. This is from Avenue. I can definitely see someone enjoying this, so this will be something I sell. This necklace is a sibling to the one we just saw earlier, the green version of it. This is really pretty too. I like the colors in this one. It's got the same style button and loop closure there. This is a closer look at the colors of beads they used in this one. This is pretty too. This blue necklace has a matching bracelet. Hmm, now I just have to decide whether to sell these together as a set or separately. What do you guys think? 
two single earrings here again. I can definitely confirm that each of these earrings was in that same Goodwill Blue box that some of these other singles are. So I am very happy that I'm finding the matches from the other box. This is a laurel birch earring. I will have the mate to that when I dig for it. There's a name for this kind of finish on metal and I don't know what it is, but it's very pretty and it's two-sided. The finish is on both sides. I have the mate for this too, because this is an earring I definitely remember getting in the other box. The beads on this necklace are called rhodonite. And they used faceted disc rhodonite beads as well as around smooth rhodonite beads. I'm gonna check to see if this bale is attracted to the magnet. And it doesn't seem to be. Oh, wait a minute. I had it on the wrong side. So this has inlay in it. It looks like abalone. Right away, I'm seeing that it's damaged right there. So you could either take the pendant off or wear it on the other side or wear it on this side if you don't mind that mark on it. I took the bail off the necklace and I'm seeing that there is a mark that says 925 China. I'm still gonna test it and put the results of whether or not it was sterling silver on the screen right here. The necklace has a hook closure and an extender with a little heart charm at the end. And I am seeing something that is printed on that hook. And again, it does say 925 China. And there's something just in front of the 925 that I can't make out. But I'll be testing it and I'll put it on the screen right here if the hook was sterling silver. This necklace is definitely going to be for sale. And I have to decide how I'm going to handle the pendant part. But really pretty beaded necklace. This Goodwill Blue Box is impressive. What do you guys think so far? I have to say it's 100% better than the one I just opened before this video. And if you haven't checked that out, I'll put the card on the screen right here in the right hand corner. This is so much better than the last box. But you know, it's always a gamble. You never know what you're going to get. This particular necklace is fantastic. It's made of cherry quartz beads. I believe these black beads are onyx. There's a gray iridescent mother of pearl pendant. It might be a Celtic design. And look at this, cloisonne beads in black. And then there's some red ones on here as well. Look at those. Oh yeah, I am definitely gonna be selling this one. This is quite an intricate piece here. This is all seed beads. You can see the tassels sort of a V-shaped here. Not only are there seed bead fringe hanging all around the necklace, but you can see under this part of seed beads that are sewn on is an embroidery panel. And then all around are these gold seed beads. This is a really something. Here's a look at the neck. There are two-toned peach cords here. There's four of them and they made it adjustable so you can make it longer or shorter. And these have little tassels on the end. Can you imagine the work it takes to make one of these? Yep, I'm definitely gonna sell this one too. I have to figure out some really good keywords to use when I list it. This necklace is magnificent. I think I'm gonna show you from the bottom going up, closer view, there's a lot going on here. So let's start at the bottom. First of all, there are these three tassels hanging down with citrine, tiger eye, turquoise, and amethyst. And there are these teeny tiny beads of carnelian, and that's carnelian, this is carnelian as well. So this is definitely a gemstone necklace. Going up, there's a faceted quartz bead, and this. This may or may not be jade, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's an awesome pendant, olive brownish green, and it looks like two dragons back to back. More of the same kind of beads, carnelian, tiger's eye, citrine, and amethyst with turquoise chips, and these three strands of tiny carnelians going up the sides. It does have cone-shaped bead caps at the end, an extender. Looks like something that is stamped on the tag. We'll take a look, and the lobster clasp closure. I don't think I've ever seen this jewelry mark. Does anyone recognize this? The other side says 8X925 China. What's 8X? The cone-shaped bead caps at the end, you can see it's imprinted with sterling. 
definitely going to give this a test and let you know right here on the screen what I found about all these sterling findings. This is really a special necklace. I have to figure out who the maker mark is before I figure out what price I'm going to put on this, but it's definitely a special piece. Ah, looky how cute. I love this little guy or girl. She's got a round, let's make her a girl. <laughs> She's got a round body. She's silver tone. I love the little texture all over her body. Clear crystals, they all seem to be there. Black crystal eyes. Her cute little round body is adorable. The chain she's on is really pretty too. I wonder if it's sterling silver. Hmm, let me see. Uh, no, it's not. Even though it's not sterling silver, the chain still is pretty, I like that. I think she's gonna stay with me at least for a little while. I'm gonna get some wear out of this. Aw, cute little thing. Here are a few more single earrings from the lot. This is brass, a single pretty chandelier, a pretty worn out dangle here. This one I think is sterling silver. It's not sticking to the magnet and it is stamped 925 Thailand J and T. So this one's going to end up in my scrap silver. Look at this. This is a watch pendant necklace. It's definitely a statement piece and I've got to show you up close. First of all, it is in excellent condition. It's on a black satin cord. Then there's this enameled black cylinder bead encrusted with clear crystals. And now down to the watch part. It's black enameled. It's got Roman numerals on the face. And it says FX. So that would be the brand. I've never heard of FX. But the way this is made, you should feel how heavy it is, first of all. Secondly, it's in excellent shape. It's very sparkly. It's got this cone bead hanging off the bottom with more of a satiny tassel. These tassels are in perfect shape, very clean. This is awesome. Now, don't look away. Don't look away. Watch when I turn this over. Look at this. <laughs> this is such a cool piece. Isn't that pretty? Look at the detail all around the face with the enamel and the crystals. And what's even better, when I push this pin in right here, the watch works. Watch this. Ha ha, watch this. Get it? <laughs> anyway, watch this. <laughs> See that? See the second hand moving? This is a working watch pendant statement necklace. I know that's a mouthful, but this is pretty cool. I will be selling this gorgeous watch necklace. I have to do more research on what price I'm gonna put on it, but this is just awesome. I'd say this Goodwill Blue Box is a winner and I'm not even finished yet. <clears throat> yes, Larry, I owe you a lot of thanks for bringing me luck. Thank you, Larry. You're welcome. Here's a matching glass bead set bracelet and necklace. The beads are quite awesome. There are these smooth round beads with gold bead caps on each side. They're knotted in between, but each bead has like gold glittery metallic flakes. All of them are so pretty, multitude of colors. It's finished with a lobster clasp and an extender with another tiny little charm bead at the end. It's definitely not gold or silver. Look how gorgeous. I am definitely going to sell these too. Another colorful statement necklace here. This one features faceted sparkly crystals in purple, green, pink, and gold. And on each end that dangles down are matching shells. How do they do that? <laughs> this is such a pretty combination. The chain is an antique gold tone chain. It has a lobster clasp with an extender. This will definitely sell. That is going in my sell pile. Here is another matching set, necklace and bracelet. These are made with a semi-chunky gold chain. Every other link is textured and every other one is smooth. I'm showing you a close-up of the beads to show you that lapis beads often have these metallic flecks in them like these beads do. And I really love the open work leaf bead caps on this as well. It's got a nice size lobster clasp closure here. The bracelet is much the same. It's got the dangly beads, the lapis beads on there, and 
lobster clasp as well. So this set is definitely for sale. This is a very sparkly multi-strand beaded necklace. They are tiny black crystals. They're round and faceted. Look how the beads catch the light. I love that. Here's a long happy necklace. There were some fun enamel painted flower links. Two smalls and a large on this one in yellow, purple, and red. They're using a bright green, pink and orange, and this teal color. And then it has these little links. There are modern oblong links and some Rolo chain in between. This is super fun. The hang tag on this is Avenue. I definitely think this will sell. This is going in my sell pile. Here's another boho style, tribal style necklace. Multiple strands of these colorful seed beads. It's got round hammered disc charms with seed beads hanging off of each one. They're graduated. So the center one is the biggest one. I think someone would love this necklace and I'm putting it in my sell pile. One thing's for sure, mystery boxes are always a gamble, but this one I have to say is a winner. At least it is in my eyes. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And, and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, <clears throat> I mean Picky Chicks channel, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah, please hit that <laughs> subscribe button. And thanks for coming in for another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.